Now that we know a bit about the timeline, let's talk about actually creating animations. Now to create animations, we're going to need to set some keys, and there's a few ways to do this. First, we'll need to select the object that we want to create a key for. Then we can go into the inspector, and you can see all of the different properties that we can key. You'll notice these little diamonds next to it. And if we were to click on one of those, like for example, the X property here, you'll notice that the diamond turns blue and a key appears on the timeline. In addition to that key, we can see what exactly was keyed by using this little drop down here on the rectangle. And you can see, yep, there it is that we've animated the X property. If we want to remove the key, we can either select this key and hit delete or by going up into the inspector and hitting the diamond button again. Another way to set a key is by directly manipulating the object on the stage. So let's say we want to set another X key. Well, we can just drag our rectangle on the X and you'll notice that the key has been created once again. Now, if we want to change the value that's been keyed here, we can either click and drag in this little number field and you can see it'll change the position on the stage and the value or by typing in a numerical value. We can do the same thing using the inspector by clicking and dragging or typing in a new value. To actually create some movement, we'll need to set a different key. So I'll go to the end of the timeline and drag the rectangle to the opposite side of the artboard. And there you go. We have our second key. As you can see, that new property is at 450 on the X and the old one is at 50 on the X. And when we play, those two properties essentially transform from one to another, which is what gives us our movement. Now we can do this with multiple properties at the same time. So for example, we can set a key for the scale. So we'll go ahead and key the scale here at the beginning and you can see that it's at 100% scale. And if we go to the end of the timeline and increase the scale, then when we play the animation back, not only does it move, but it also scales up as well. Now, if we want to move our keys on the timeline, we can just marquee select them and click and drag them anywhere we want. We can do this for any keys that we have. Notice what happens when we collapse our object down again. Where we had four keys before, we now just have two keys. And that's because these gray diamonds are representing a top level key or all of the different keys that are keyed at that position for that object. This is really handy if we want to move all of the animated properties uh, really, really quickly. Or what we can do is open the object back up. And if we want to have our keys located at different times, we can manually uh, manipulate each one of the different keyed properties. All right, let's reorganize these keys really quickly and put these back at the end and these others in the middle. And let's say we want to copy and paste some keys. So to do that, what we'll do is marquee select the keys we want to copy and then use the copy command. So control C or command C. And then we just need to move our playhead to the position that we want to paste those and then use control V or command V. And you'll notice that the keys paste where our uh, playhead is. And if we play the animation back, you'll notice we've created a nice little loop. If you're looking for a list of shortcuts for timeline controls, you can go to this menu here and that will list most of the shortcuts that we have. So let's say, for example, we want to move our playhead uh, by one uh, frame at a time. We can use the comma and period shortcuts. And if we use command or control and we use that same shortcut, it's actually going to jump us from key to key. This can be really useful if we want to jump between keys and adjust their properties. In addition to going back and forth between keys, we can also move keys by using the alt key and also using that comma and period shortcut. Another helpful shortcut for us to use is let's say that our animation keys are a bit too spread out and we want to shrink them down. What we can do is select all the keys on our timeline and hold alt and we'll be able to resize our entire animation or at least the selection of keys that we've made. This is really great for adjusting your timing if you find that something's too long or too short or we want to even flip our animation and play it backwards.